My spirit racing high in flight, leaping into the lovely night, sweeping through woods we ride with stealth to ease my state of mental health. Bliss freedom of this blessed moment, racing to strike our opponent, and overthrow he the tyrant who crushed my friends like small fire ants. Horrible hatred bared for he, that devil come across the sea. He conquered then killed those to free, and now comes time to pay the fee. Beside me, my servant, ally, friend, rides with me to help defend. My Evan, my very best friend, who'd stick with me right through the end. Us riding in the moonlit light, the wind blowing away my fright, the joy of our plot to be free, then be at last just him and me. Rebels we ride to fiend's fine fort, he whom to me tries to court, he the pompous powerful swine who thought he could entice with fine wine. That evil king I must be wed, unless, of course, he's soon found dead. With him my heart will never lie, unless ripped out after I die. Of course we could run, ourselves only fen, but leave what I'm sworn to defend? No, for evil I shall not bend, or living I'd only pretend. To he, my friend, I flashed a smile. His reassurance took a while. He seemed really off today. Brooding's not usually his way. Yet his eyes seemed dark and pensive. Mine must be on the defensive. My wave dismissed all second thoughts. To frantic focus on my plot. We tie our horses to a tree. Precaution in case we must flee. Forward I march with even stride. To them for now, I'm still the bride. I approach with heart, racing fast. Soon my chance to be at free at last. Two guards stand ready at the door to kill if intruders implore. They, so unknowing of intent, allowed safe passage with heads bent. My head held high, I strut with bliss. None could see anything amiss. And who'd be the first to meet me but my supposed man to be? My dearest, he claimed with a bow. Dylan, I replied with a scowl. He eyed me close and chose to say, you have been traveling all day. Your exhaustion is surely deep. I shall find a room for you to sleep. Ha, he must be surely a cow to think nice words can save him now. Unless, of course, you wish to stay in my room until the new day. Anger flared hot with his sick smile. Why were his thoughts always so vile? No, I snapped slightly too quickly. His look made me very sickly. Not yet, Dylan, it's for the best. For now, I wish only to rest. His frown sent a chill up my spine, then replied the treacherous swine. Fine then, but once you are my wife, only to me belongs your life. I solemnly nodded to he, to whom I'd soon be free. And free would be this precious land that he rules with an iron hand. Once all are safe, at last there'd be a chance for my Evan and me. To my room I went nervously, hoping my plan would come to be. Calmly I waited into the night. To any sound I showed much fright. Through dense darkness of halls I crept to my room where the villain slept. My heart leapt high with joy for he, my Evan holding tight the key. A bottle with poison no less. What can I say? This was our best. Quick poison that killed in the sleep, leaving him there in a dead heap. Merciful and swift to be done, deserving worse his brand of fun. But now's not the time to dwaddle. I reached out to grab the bottle. But Evan was not letting go, staring blank like he didn't know. The bottle, I asked for quite stern, thoughts beginning to have concern. He shook his head, then to my dread, yelled out with voice heavy as lead. The princess wants to kill the king. Come help before she starts leaving. With white eyes, I covered his mouth. In my horror, I began to shout, you traitor, you insolent knave, you who I thought so kind and brave. Sorry, he said, tears down his eyes. Seriously, that's such a lie. Knees bent, I was ready to lunge, to kill him in a deadly plunge. I'd give him a reason to cry, cry his heart out before he'd die. But two shoulders grabbed and restrained me, swung me around to detain me. My heart sank at his icy voice, wanted to run, but had no choice. What's going on? Dylan soon roared. Please explain yourself, he implored.
It was Evan who stepped up, explained, each word causing me more pain. His words stabbed deep into my soul, leaving a great big bloody hole. Dead and depressed, I'm led away, led to the dungeon, now to stay. In dirt and darkness, I now laid, feeling down, alone, and betrayed.